from what I understand, this pump head, this whole assembly here, is actually going to be available by itself. It is finally here. In this video, we're going to unbox it, install it, see what the performance is, and that's coming up next. Hi, my name is Brian. I'd like to welcome you to another video. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn more about electric brewing, see product reviews just like this one and all sorts of other home brewing related stuff, consider subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss a video when it comes out. Uh, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I kind of talked about Blickman releasing the conversion kit for March and Chugger pumps several months ago. So it's finally here and full disclosure on this, I did not purchase the kit. Blickman sent it to me for review and you know, how to video, how to install it and all that stuff. So just wanted to let you guys know that I did not purchase it. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. So uh, in the box, let's check it out here. Um, very nice, got a metal bracket, a uh, stainless bracket. One of the things that I saw right off the bat that I liked about this was that the two holes in the bolt configuration here are pretty much exactly the same as the ones that are on the pump. So if you have your pump mounted to a bench already, this bracket system is gonna mount right exactly to where it was before. So we got that. Um, got an adapter plate that uh, will attach the head to the pump. Got uh, the main pump head itself, and inside of there is uh, the impeller. And that is the same impeller that comes in the, the uh, Riptide pump. I guess there were a couple different colors from what I understand, a black one and a brown one, but uh, this one comes with a brown, which I think is the later model higher flow. Uh, the impeller cup, if you will. And then the actual impeller head itself. Now, one thing I did notice about this is that it comes with a stainless steel uh, poppet valve. The one that comes in the, came in the original one that I have, and they may have changed it since then, is actually a plastic one like what you would find inside of a uh, uh, keg. So, you know, it, it, it uh, definitely looks a little bit sturdier. And I think the threads probably, that was one of the things kind of concerned me about a little bit was the threads were plastic and it was threading into stainless, a big piece of stainless steel. So I did have some concerns about that, but other than it looks like they fixed that issue. And uh, other than that, looks just like the pump head that's on the Riptide. Uh, got a tri-clamp instruction book <clears throat> and then we've got uh, several screws and an o-ring uh, there's some screws that come for the march pump and some screws that come for the chugger pump which those are there and then uh, i assume that all these other screws and whatnot uh, along with the rubber bushings are to bolt the actual pump itself to the bracket system so that you can have some additional space and what that's for is when you replace the head on there it obviously is a larger footprint so that will actually allow it to give some space so if you set it on the floor it's not going to hit if you orient it a certain way so um, without further ado let's uh, jump into it now this pump is a it's the 809 pl hs which is the polysulfone uh, polysulfone uh, housing on it and this is supposed to replace that so Let's just jump into it. All right, take this off. And I will be very curious to see how this pump performs once we put the Riptide head on it because in the previous side-by-side-by-side uh, -side -side comparison video, and I'll put a card to that up here, uh, when I did that video, we did notice that the March pump that I had, the 809, was probably the least performing out of the Riptide, the Chugger, and the, the March pump. So I'll be interested to see if when we replace this, does it in fact increase the performance of this March pump, which would be pretty nice because it was somewhat anemic compared to the other two pumps. So I uh, got that off of there. According to the instructions that I read, kind of pre-read this stuff. So uh, according to the instructions I read, you do not take off this main piece here. That piece is gonna stay with it. What you're gonna do is you're actually going to put this piece on this piece is going to go on and you're going to line up the screw holes with the holes that are on the housing here, the impeller housing. And then it comes with the screws for the March pump. There's a couple, there's two different sizes here, it looks like. Um, yeah, it looks like maybe one of them is a little bit longer than the other. So apparently the threads on the chugger pump are a little bit harder to get down in there. So 
to go ahead and drop these in. And as far as tightening these down, I, I kind of suggest, and I don't think there's going to be any warpage issues with it really, but I would suggest that you put all the screws in and tighten them down in a crisscross pattern. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here in just a second. So I put them in and then uh, I just kind of run them down uh, gently, not till they're exactly tight, get them kind of finger tight and uh, get them down there. And then what I would do is I'd actually tighten them from a crisscross pattern. So this one, then that one, then that one, and then that one. So that attaches the housing on it that the tri-clamp will actually attach to. And basically from there, it's pretty simple. Uh, I won't attach it to the base just yet. Um, so you're going to put the impeller housing in there. The impeller can go in there. There's an O-ring here, and that actually goes down inside of the body of the unit. There's a small thrust washer that goes in there, and you want to make sure that you don't lose that thing, obviously. So we'll uh, put it together. And grab the tri-clamp. Get to unscrew this quite a ways in order to get it to work on there. So, put that on there. I'm going to turn this around a little bit so it doesn't interfere with the other stuff on there and gives me a little different orientation. And tighten it up. And basically, you've just turned your march pump into a riptide pump. Since I have mine mounted to a bench, I'm going to leave this uh, the bracket off so that I can just mount it directly to the bench itself. But for those of you that would be getting the kit and want to use it as a standalone pump, this is definitely a nice item that will come in handy for you so that you keep all the clearance of everything. So I will be back here in just a minute and uh, we'll do some testing. All right, so here it is installed on the bench. Go ahead and turn it on. And come over here to the kettle and take a look at what we've got here. Looks like it has a pretty good flow. I don't know if it's quite as strong as the Riptide is, but it certainly has a good amount of flow to it. As far as noise go, it's definitely quieter than the Chugger. Alright, I'm going to switch over to the Riptide pump and I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are now. We've got the Riptide pump hooked up. I'll go ahead and turn it on. And come back over take a look. Let's see what we've got here. Definitely seems like it has a little bit more force than the March pump, but I think the motor is a little bit larger and a little bit more powerful. But as far as noise goes, definitely quieter than the March pump, but not bad in the noise department at all. So the tests were pretty interesting. It looks like that it did add a little bit of thrust to the stock March pump. I can't say that it upgraded it to a full-blown Riptide pump with the amount of flow that came out of it. It looked like it was still a little bit less than what the Riptide was. But I would definitely say it is a nice upgrade. I did go ahead and put it on the stand just to show you. Without the stand, it does get pretty front heavy because of how heavy the assembly is on the front. With the stand on there, it's definitely much more stable. Uh, I think it'd be, you know, an awesome addition if somebody's just uh, using it around on the ground. Final thoughts on it. Is it for everyone? No, probably not. But who I think it is for would be someone that has a plastic housing, the polysulfone or however they say that, on a current pump. And they don't want to quite spend the money for a Riptide, but they want the functionality of being able to take that head apart as well as having a nice stand to be able to move it around wherever rather than having it on a block of wood or something like that. I've seen a lot of different things like that. So... I definitely think that for $99, uh, it's worth the money just being able to clean the pump as easily as you can with this device. I know since I've had the Riptide pump on the wart side of my system, I've cleaned it a lot more than I ever did before, which makes me feel a little bit better about my brewing process. So all in all, I think it's a, a good device. Um, leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. Is it, is it, some, is it, is it overpriced? Is it something you're interested in? What do you think about it? If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate that. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you on the next video.